Hello everyone, and welcome to The Lowdown on VA Loans. This is Audrey Whittington with Realtor.com, and today we're going to be talking with Tim Alvis, a consultant manager at Veterans United. Thanks for having me today, oh, Audrey. I'm so glad you're here, because you know, I think this is a really super important topic. It's about credit score, and having three adult children, and where you have to explain credit score and the importance of it in a mortgage background, I love this topic. So you're the expert, and I was wondering if you could tell us, how do you determine your credit score? Well, that's actually a great question because there are a lot of misconceptions on how our credit score is judged. Yeah. And so the first and main thing is our payment history. Sure. Payment history roughly is about 35% of our complete score. Mm -hmm. Following the payment history is our credit utilization. And that really is our high credit limit versus our balances on those accounts. We wanna make sure we keep those ratios pretty low. Okay, so maybe let me translate a little bit. So <laughs> payment history, as I tell my kids, I'm like, don't pay late. So if you've got a car loan, right? It's yes. not so much how much credit, but really how how fast how you're paying you it. it. It's really, and you know what I was thinking, it's the reason automated payments are so important, then you're Correct. never late. Correct, and a late payment really has the ability to bring your scores down by 100 points. Right, and I think, let's talk then again about credit utilization, because I'm not sure everybody understands that either. That really means that I might have a credit card that has a limit of $1,500 versus 5,000 or 30,000, but the way that the credit agency looks at it is completely different. Correct, so if you have a small credit card, let's say it's $1,000. Yeah. Once you get over that $500 mark, the 50% level, that's when we start losing points. So the lower the credit balance, the higher the score, and then vice versa. So this is really great. What other factors should we look for? We want to make sure our credit history is mm -hmm. good. Now credit history is really just how long have my accounts been open and in good standings. Okay. And so that is roughly about 30%. Yeah, and sometimes I'll tell people like it's okay to get a credit card it, when you're in college if you're in, if you're in college when they you know they're hot to give them to you because oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really is helping you build credit history. It isn't you know I think people think oh they just want you to borrow a bunch of money. Well, of course that's true, mm -hmm. but um, they you know they're also trying to build your credit history. You need to build your credit history. And yes. The earlier you're paying on time, the better. Correct. And surprisingly, a lot of our veterans they just don't take out credit. They believe paying with cash is the best way. And so a lot of their accounts are very new and very young, and unfortunately, doesn't equal out to a high credit score. Okay, so how long, That I think that raises a question people really don't know the answer to, which is how long should you have had a credit history? It kind of depends on the credit profile, but for most, when lenders are taking a look, they want to at least see a solid 24 months of good payment okay, history. So a couple of years. Correct. Great. Okay, great. And I think they want to see different types of credit, right? Isn't that another factor? Correct. We want to kind of diversify our sure. credit profile. So we're looking for auto loans, installment loans, mortgages possibly, and even credit cards as revolving debt. Okay. So what else? I mean, any other major factors? You know, I think we've, we've hit on all the biggies. What are those sort of small things that can really mess you up? The small things would be new credit mm -hmm. and types of credit. So with your new credit, let's say that you have a maxed out credit card and then yeah. you go and apply for a new credit card. That's going to look poorly on your credit profile. Mm -hmm. So if we can pay that debt off first, we're going to be in a better position. Okay, this is great. I mean, before we close, I just want to make sure. I mean, really, just to summarize, we have making sure that you've got established credit for a couple of years, making sure that you're paying on time. Mm -hmm. Be aware, and I do think this is a biggie, be aware of the credit limits of, you know, that maybe that the credit card company is looking at that you have 1500 right? So anything else that we might have missed? No, I think you hit the nail on the head right okay, there. Okay, <laughs> good. All right, well, your credit history is truly one of the most important things, and I appreciate you explaining it to us. All right, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. This is Audrey Whittington with Realtor.com talking about the lowdown on VA loans. We hope you'll check out some of our other videos. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like or subscribe to our channel for more real estate content.